This is a good one. Yeah, this is a really, really good one. <laughs> We are days out from the biggest, highest, technically by altitude, World Weightlifting Championships ever, and training is looking amazing. Athletes have peaked, world records have been hit in training unofficially, battles are kind of being thrown out there, challenges extended and accepted. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Let's kick things off with Carlos. It's Carlos Carnage right now. The 18-year-old Bulgarian weightlifter has done some unprecedented training. Let's take a look. The first thing that we gotta mention is his 160 kilo power snatch. Worth remembering the world record, the world standard is 179 kilos. No one has yet surpassed that in this 89 kilo category, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does so in competition on, I think it's the 12th. I think it's the 12th of December. You can watch it. 160 kilos in the power snatch. Then he did a 140 kilo power snatch plus two touch and go hang power snatches where he he lowers it and then instead of stopping, he just lets the bar take him down and then he reverses it and pulls it back up. This is something that no one has ever done internationally except for Antonino Pizzolato from Italy. And then suddenly Carlos is now doing it. The, the touch and go hang power is not a thing outside of CrossFit. So this is definitely in response to the fact that Nino could do it. Now Carlos is showing that he can also do it. Then Carlos snatched 180 kilos. That's a world record, unofficial. And he did it in straps. In fact, he had a, I think he had weightlifting house straps on. We're gonna take him some more at this World Championships. Then he did it again, but this time it was sort of like from the side angle and the mad lad went and attempted a hang snatch on top of it. So he snatched 180, lowered it, then he went down. Imagine my expression when I saw him go for that second round. I was horrified, bemused, perplexed, excited. I had a, it was a smorgasbord of emotions that I felt when I saw Carlos do this. Then he took it again for another time. This is another training session. The third time he's now made 180 kilos. This time, most excitingly, he did it without any straps. This is pretty competition legal, I would have thought. Obviously it's not competition legal, but equipment wise it is. So absolutely incredible. So that's a world record three times. Then he hit a 225 kilo clean and jerk, which he I believe is a personal record for him, though I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually done more in training. 225, this is eight kilos over Nino's world record of one, of 217. Uh, the clean, I mean, he's just got so much height, so much, yeah, I mean, so much height on that clean. Uh, the jerk looks strong. I genuinely think that Tian Tao is gonna have an extremely tough time trying to beat Carlos, but it's it's possible. We'll, we'll get to Tian Tao. Let's just finish off uh, Carlos. He then did a 180 kilo, I think it was a power clean attempt. I don't think he quite made it, but it, it was right around there. Uh, he snatched 170 kilos for a double off blocks. And then to show that his legs are strong, he hit a 250 kilo front squat. So Carlos Nassar versus Tian Tao versus Kino Shostami, three world record holders in the cleaner jerk, versus Kedemar Vayanir, who just set an enormous unofficial world record. We'll get to that later. The 89s at Worlds is already an instant classic and it hasn't even happened yet. So get your tickets to watch it over at Weightlifting House. Now let's talk about Tian Tao, but very quickly, Andrea Bolzadar, let's just stick with Bulgaria just to get that sort of neatly bowed up and moved away. 73 kilo Bulgarian, he just hit a 280 kilo back squat. That is absurd. That is um, Idalberto vibes. Idalberto, is that his name? Idalberto, Idalberto, yeah. Uh, with the back squat, not quite as fast. Uh, of course, but even so, 280 is enormous. I don't think there's any 73 who's done that. I just don't think so. And he's put in, I think it's a 348 kilo entry total, and the heaviest entry total in the 73s is 350. So he's probably in good shape. Okay, let's go to Tian Tao. The only thing we now know from him, well, he's done a couple things. He trolled us once more by posting a 220 kilo clean slash pull. We don't know. He cuts the video and then I think he said something like, did I or didn't I? I vote that he did. Um, and then he, I reckon he missed the jerk. Now here's the reason I say this. If he clean and jerked it, wouldn't he just post it? It's not like it's gonna, I mean, it might scare Carlos, but it's not like it's gonna stop Carlos from competing. If he missed the clean, he wouldn't have even posted the pull. But if he made the clean and missed the jerk, he's not gonna post the clean, then have him stood there and then the video cuts, because then we all know that he missed the jerk. And more importantly, Carlos knows that he missed the jerk. So I think he does this, where he, he does the pull, and just at the top of the pull, 
He then cuts the video. We don't know if he made it or not. That's what I think happened. He then also hit a 270 kilo back squat triple, and he said, this weight used to play casually. Now it's killing me for three. So I think he's acknowledging that his legs aren't quite as strong as they once were, but hopefully his technique is. That's the battle at 89. Let's move over now to the battle at 71. We have Loredana Toma from Romania, who is already there. Um, I actually dropped her a message and asked how the training hall is. She said it's relatively big, but is a little bit concerned that it's not going to be big enough for... That's like 800 athletes, 793 or something like that, which is crazy. I think I said to her, maybe they'll just do 90 kilo training sessions. And she said, great, that's my warm up. So yeah, she's. Uh, I think if they do that, she's going to struggle to get in training. But she's looking good in training right now. She just hit 105.5 kilos for a double. I say 0.5 because I think she had those Aleco 0.5 kilo ones that you just put on and slide on. And There's something clever about them. I don't know exactly what it is, but they weigh 250 grams each. So 105.5 for a double uh, and then a single as well. Uh, and then the athlete that she's competing against, there are a few. There's the Chinese lift who's put in the enormous entry total, but there's also the US battle, Olivia Reeves and Kate Viber, who have basically the same entry total, same personal best. And Kate Viber is kind of like standing up to the challenge of Toma, which is great. Uh, I made that little video, that reel for Instagram, which you may have seen where I talk about this battle and Kate reposted it. And then in the short little documentary interview we did with Kate, she also spoke about the fact that Toma was competing in her category. And I mean, Kate is the world champion 2019 in this category. And Kate is sort of up to the challenge of, of going against Toma, which is so exciting. Uh, Kate just snatched 105 in training as well and looks good. Lesman Paredes, Bahrain, competing in Colombia, his previous country that he used to compete for, for Bahrain in Colombia. It's it's going to be heightened in terms of emotion. And I've been saying for a while that he wants to hit 190 there for a three kilo, three kilo? Yeah, world record uh, to extend his snatch world record, 190 in the 96 category. And he just posted a video of a 180. He's pulling Tiantao vibes as well. He snatched it and then he goes to set up for the second rep. He may even pull it. I can't remember at which point he cuts it, but he cuts it. He alludes to the fact that he either tried it. See, that's another tricky one, because if he made it, wouldn't he post it? He's got no competition, really. Like, Nagis is great, you know, but he's not going to snatch 190, and he can't clean and jack with Lesman. So Lesman is safe, surely, to win. So why would he... But then, like, why wouldn't he just post the fact that he missed it? It doesn't matter. No one else can do a 180 double. So he doesn't have to feel bad about it. Anyway, maybe he did make it. Maybe he didn't. Leave a comment down below, is what they say on YouTube, if you think he made it. Or if you don't, don't forget to subscribe while you do it, in case you forgot. Let's move on to South Korea. We have 67 kilo Lee Sang, who's looking so jacked and diced right now. It's unbelievable. Uh, and he's in great shape. So not only did he hit a 220 kilo front squat, which is 67, that's big. That is over three times body weight. Three times body weight would be... 201 so it's way over three times body weight and it looked good then he hit 184 kilos for a personal best and a cleaner jerk that's massive that's four kilos under the world record by Pak jong ju but more importantly Pak jong ju is not competing so there are very few people who can do that who can do that chen li jun can do that can anyone else at 67 do that let's just pull up this star list very quickly okay there's a there's a couple of tie lifters who are alluding to the fact that they can do it because they've put in enormous 330 kilo entry totals. But then, like, Dostin Yakubov, uh, Dostin, maybe. Ergashev, maybe. Francisco Mosquera, maybe. Okay, so there are actually a few athletes who maybe could do that. But Lee Sang, we know, can do that because he just did it in training. Then he did 10 singles at 170 kilos, which is so insane. Uh, and on the last single, he did 175. So 170 is probably below an opener if he's at that level. And they all look great. So very excited to see the return of Lee Sang. Next, let's go to 49 kilo Indian lifter, world record holder in the cleaner jerk, Mirabai Chanu. Now, for those of you who don't remember, she hit 119 in the cleaner jerk, the Asian champs in 2021. It's actually, the 49 is actually the battle that I'm arguably most excited to see on the women's side. 
because we've got the two Chinese lifters, Zhang Wali and Hu Jihui. Then we've got Mirabai. So wait, why did I even mention Mirabai? That's the first thing I need to mention. She just back squatted 150 kilos, which I feel like is a massive weight for a 49 to be squatting. So I wanted to mention that. Clearly her legs are in good shape. Um, so there's those three, but then, you know, there's Nina Sturks, who I genuinely think could potentially beat Mirabai if she hits a big snatch and Mirabai doesn't. Uh, and then there's Jordan Della Cruz, there's Hedy Wrightshart, Julian Perro. It's just an insane category, so I'm excited. And I wanted to mention the 150, so I mentioned it. Let's move on to Lasher now, uh, who's looking better and better. He's convincing me more and more that he's ready for a big world champs. He did a 210 kilo snatch pull plus snatch, which is a very heavy complex. If a complex has to include going under a snatch and standing it up, so like it could include like a hang or a block or a snatch, and it can't just be like a snatch double. It could be like a block snatch double, I suppose, but it has to be more than one rep and it can't just be a snatch double. Is 210 the heaviest? Has anyone ever done a 215 snatch pull plus snatch or block snatch double? There's been a 210 snatch double. Lash has done it. Lapikov did it. But has there ever been 210 that's been another lift variation plus a snatch? I don't know. Uh, he also then did 145 kilos for three singles in the muscle snatch. And I think they all look progressively smoother and faster. So the top end velocity at that kind of weight is there, which is good. It means that speed is there. It means that strength is there. Um, so hopefully he's poised to do a big snatch. He also looks a little bit confident. On that 250 cleaner joke that he did, he wrote something like, Bogota, here I come, or like, I'm ready for you, Colombia, or something like that. Maybe, maybe it wasn't quite that, but it was something like that. Speaking of super strong people, from Norway, 87 kilo Salford Coanda is stronger than ever. She's arguably, I can't keep saying the most talented, because it just loses its potency. She's one of the most talented. She's, here she is. She's the most quickly progressing super elite level lifter currently. I'm going to say that. And I think Carlos is pretty fast progressing. So is Nina. She's up there. She's definitely up there. She snatched 110 now. She's clean jerks over 140. Uh, but I think she's going to do something crazy. Like I could see her doing, for the win if she needed it, I could see her snatching close to 115. And I could see her clean and jerking 45. I could see her attempting 150. And I actually think she could make it. Uh, she just hit a 180 kilo front squat, which is massive. She bat squatted 200 kilos for a triple, 220 for a single. Legs are just killing it right now. So very excited to see Solfrid go up against, well, there are other high level lifters. We've got McJanstan, the world champion. Um, we've got Jabs, Javaroba, Tasmo Javaroba from Uzbekistan. It's going to be a big one. Also, have you noticed how Nuruddinov and Akbar Drive have just been silent? They're both competing. Akbar super, Rosalind at 109 supposedly, though he might come down to 102. Just silent. I think it's probably because they're both in really good shape. Really good shape. Because apparently the reason they didn't go to Asians was because they'd peaked semi for that Islamic competition that they did. And then they wanted to have a really long build for Worlds. So I think they're in great shape right now. Let's go over to Kedemar Vayaniya, another 89 who I'm super excited to see. Uh, absolute workhorse, puts in so much training at these World Championships training halls. It's kind of unbelievable how much he does like in the two weeks build up to the competition. Uh, 200 kilo cleaner jack. And then, oh, and he's got the, um, the uh, altitude mask on because... Bogota is so high up in terms of elevation, so that's interesting. Uh, he did a 230 kilo jerk out the rack. That is 13 kilos over the world record. Like, what does that What does that even mean? Who's done that? Let's just think of comparable lifts. At 89, the 85 kilo world record is 220. Back in the day, we saw cleaning jerks at 225. Carlos just did 225 in training. The 94 kilo world record was 233. Um, back in the day, Kripati... Uh, did 235, I think, at 90. And also Kaki did 235 at like 89.2 or something like that. But it's a different era. But also this is 13 kilos over the world record. So all we're saying, and he can front squat like 290. So all I'm saying is if Kedemar can get under it, he's going to get up with it. I wouldn't be surprised if he breaks a world record at 217 and then Tian breaks it and then Carlos breaks it. And no one knows what kind of shape the Shepherd's in, Kianush himself. Like, is he going to turn up and bomb out at a 210? Or is he going to clean a jerk 225? I don't know. Nobody knows. We're going to find out. I think it's on the 12th of December. 
I should get better at that if I'm going to hype it up and then try and plug it, and then I don't even know when it is. It's happening there. The schedule's at Weightlifting House. You can you can check it out there. Two more athletes to go through. The first, Italian lifter Sergio Masida, 61 kilo athlete. He's the two-time junior world champ, 2019 and 2021, I think. Um, he is so sharp and crisp with his lifting. So his best competition snatch previously was 129 kilos. He did that in 2021. Uh, I think he missed all his cleaner jerks at the last Junior World Champs this year. Um, so he didn't get his third title. But So his best snatch was from 29 in competition. He just posted a video where he doubled 135. Now the world record is 145. That's Lee Farben. So if he doubled 35, he's going to do 40, surely? 140 in competition. That's only 5 kilos off the world record. I think we could see a new medalist. I'm not saying he's going to be... Lee Farbin and uh, Echo Yuli Iravan because I just think they're too strong in the clean and jerk. But certainly in the in the snatch, he could even get a, a silver in the snatch, potentially. So I'm very excited to see Sergio. Uh, and then another person who I'm very excited to see, the final lifter here that I'm going to mention before I wrap up this final episode before the World Champs, is Emily Campbell. She just jerked 170 kilos off the blocks. Great British Olympic silver medalist, two-time European medalist, gold medalist, uh, world's bronze medalist. I don't think she can win. I don't think anyone can beat Lee Wen Wen, but I think the battle for Silver is going to be unreal. Her versus Park Ye Jiang, the current, sorry, no, she's not the current world champion. Sun Young He is the current world champion. Uh, so, versus Sun Young He, and also versus Park Ye Jiang, who finally gets to compete. She's the strongest of them all, physically, in terms of the squat at least. She cleaned 180 off blocks. Um, I just think that battle is going to be amazing. This entire through from the women's 49s. Although actually the women's 45s will be good. Um, I am actually excited for that. But right the way through, all the way to the end, this World Championship is going to be utterly unbelievable. Go get your tickets now. The pay-per-view is available. It's live and on demand over at Weightlifting House, full HD, commentary from me and Max on the A sessions. But every session, A, B, C, and D will be available to watch. It's going to be insane. Go get your tickets, and I'll see you in Columbia. I fly out. In fact, I'm already there when you're watching this. I flew out on Thursday morning. I got there Thursday evening so that I'd have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and most of Monday to just be in the training hall, filming, getting some vlogs ready. Um, and then the first session's on Monday. It's the women's 45s. And then it's two two a day, two A sessions a day from from then on. Uh, and I'm so excited. We'll, we'll do vlogs for you guys to watch, but... Um, the actual full competition is where it's at. So, yeah, tune in. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe to Weightlifting House. Check us out on Instagram. And uh, I think that's it. Thanks, guys. See you guys soon.